Hey, how is everybody? Lou from RV Habit. Uh, about four or five years ago now, uh, when I got my RV, I bought an ADCO windshield cover. I uh, actually did a video on it. Don't go watch it. It was one of my first videos. Uh, but it's time to replace that. And I came across this newer type windshield cover. And it fits any Class C on an E350 or 450 from 97 to current. They have not changed the front of the style of the chassis, so this should fit any of them. But this one's made by Bouge RV, and it comes with a travel bag. It's pretty much the same type, except this is a little different. It has a reflective, obviously you can see it, a reflective material on the outside that's supposed to uh, be a little better protection from the heat. And the inside that goes against the windshield is this black felt. And then in between the reflective material and the black felt is this like thin insulation. So we're going to put this on, leave it on for a while and see uh, if it brings the temperature down. But I use it mainly for privacy. So when you're in an RV, uh, you have a class C and you know, you got to cover this windshield. If not, you need to put a curtain here. I have a curtain that came with the RV. I used it once. I hated it. It just, uh, it makes the RV feel small and it doesn't really block out any heat at all. So uh, let's go put this on. Typically, these are very easy to put on. They have this little corner here that clips in the door. And then at the bottom of that corner is a magnet that will stick to the RV. And there's even cutouts for your side mirrors. So the first thing I'm going to do is stretch this across the front. Uh, might be a little tough because my RV is like six or seven inches up off the ground in the front end. But let's give it a try. And this is a little easier with two people, but it's not hard with one. But you can see how far down I am, how far, high my RV is right now. So I will get it around the mirror. I'll show you this on the other side on how this clips on the door, but it's very simple. As you can see, it's done already on that door. And I'll bring you in closer to show you on the other side. Now, when I put a windshield cover on, I always put the windshield wipers to the outside. So even with one person, you could see how simple this is. And my RV, like I said, it's really high up in the air. But uh, this just goes around your mirror and it gives you a little Velcro here. And then for the door, it's very easy. So the top here has this hook and it'll hook on this door and there's a magnet in here that's protected so it doesn't scratch your paint. All you do is open the door, you hook this around your door close it and put your magnet and that is not going anywhere it can't come off with the door closed and that's what it looks like from the outside and it is definitely reflective I'll give you a little closer look let's go see what it looks like inside so this is the inside and it's not completely black uh, but it doesn't let any sun in and I know it's going to sound crazy, but just, just putting that cover on, you can feel the difference of no heat radiating into the RV in the front end here. But we'll let it sit here for a while, and we'll take another temperature and see if it cooled down the dashboard at all. So it's been about an hour and a half that the windshield cover's been on, and I retook the temperature of the dashboard, and we're hovering right around 94, 95, which is beyond my expectations, right? So I started, we started at 125, and it's, it's visibly cooler in this area right now. So this is definitely doing its job. Uh, I'm super impressed. 
This was only $35 on Amazon, uh, made by Bouge RV. I'm going to leave a link to it if you want to research a little bit more uh, down in the description. I'll probably do an article on my website, rvhabit.com also. But right now, I'm super impressed. Hopefully it'll last. Uh, probably do something maybe five or six months. We'll check back because I'm going to leave this on the RV all the time. It's My RV's parked in the sun all the time, so I'm going to leave this on 24-7. So I'll check back maybe in five or six months to see how it's held up. I don't anticipate any problems. It, it seems to be uh, constructed pretty well uh, and pretty tough. So um, a win-win. As always, though, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you soon.